Assalamu alaikum. Today in this video we will complete our EC2 setup configuration with PM2 and, and we will upload this Next.js project on EC2 and will map our domain to the server. So install Node.js on EC2 and then PM2. If you don't know how to set up these things, please check the description of the video. I have shared some videos with you there. I'm assuming that you have set up EC2, Apache server and Node.js. After setting up these three things, let's start movement of project to EC2. So let's uh, connect EC2 with Putty and we will create a folder in our home EC2 directory and we will clone our project and after cloning the project we will go to this project directory where we have this env file and here you can check package.json here we will change this to port 5000 so for port 5000 we will write this hyphen p 5000 in start this is our new project so we will so we will first npm install and after npm install we will build this project so npm run build and then we will start the project for testing but we will not use this method so we will check our pm2 and after checking the list we will start we will create a new pm2 app so pm2 start npm name 10 for lab and run start now we have this app and when we check rpm2 log it is running at localhost 5000 port we will save this for future use so pm2 save and when we check our url we have our working app so that was very easy if you have saved your pm2 list then you can recover your pm2 projects by using this simple command all of your projects will automatically load so pm2 safe is very useful our project is running at port 5000 but we have to map this project to our domain In different projects, we have different types of setups. Some of the setups are in environment variables where we define our ports. So for other projects, kindly check .env file also. Now let's go to our project where we can easily configure our SSL certificates if we want to use our SSL certificates on specific ports. So we will use this read file sync and we will provide a key and our certificate in HTTP options and then we will load these SSL options from nest factory create command and after that our SSL will work on port 5000 or any other port if we are using with SSL. So these lines are very very helpful for configuring SSL.
Now let's configure our server with uh, domain name. So let's go to the etc folder and then httpd where we have these sites enabled and create a file with these lines. We are redirecting permanently to the https and in https 443 we are defining proxy preserve host on and then proxy request off and we will set the server name and server alias then proxy pass to this port and proxy pass reverse at this we will set up error log and custom log to these files and after saving this file let's execute this command sudo systemctl restart httpd and then sudo apache ctl restart so when you will execute the domain you will get the required result so now we have configured our app on domain and the SSL is working. If you want to check out more lessons like this, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you have any questions, please leave it in comments section. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.